welcome back to another one of my Final Fantasy Let's Play series where this episode I'm pretty much just this video I don't know why I call it episodes this video I am going to uh show you guys okay show you guys how to set up uh, key bindings macros in um yeah, some simple shit. HUD. I'm gonna show you guys my hut layout real quick. This is ought to be simple. Um, I will put stuff up uh, in the description, whatnot, or pretty much put up images and stuff like that, showing you guys how I have my stuff set up. Um, first of all, my hut layout. This is my hut layout, as you can see. I have my. I switched everything around. Instead of my minimap being up here, I moved it down here. I have my expense bar, my hot bar one, two, and three, and then I have my status info, you know, the one that says other, and then status info in uh in elements, which means you know negative effect. I'm guessing my health bar, mana bar, and tac uh, tactical points bar, and you got my target bar. So whoever monster or enemy that I'm targeting it will show up here, and then the progress bar right here. This right here is, for, uh, is a good party setup because you got your party list that shows everybody in your party. Life gauge for when you're in dungeons. Hot bar, uh, a little hot bar right here for like, you know, shortcuts stuff like that for like, uh, sort of situational healing and you know support stuff. You got your ta focus target bar, which means every time whoever you're healing your tank or whatnot, it'll show up all the enemies that's targeting that person. You know, the name of the target. You know, let's say I'm talking to the tank. The tank will, uh, will show up right here, and then the enemies that are attacking him or her will show up right there. I got my quest log, server info up there. Pretty much these are just for like random shortcuts. Uh, I have my hotbar four, five, and six that are just right here, and it's just like emotes um, that we use for site for quests and stuff like that alongside of just random emotes or whatnot just random shit right there this right here is for like my chocobo once we get more stuff this is for my classes and uh, jobs which is where I'm gonna put these at like custom classes or whatnot gonna go here then you got your pet bar oh don't forget um, my gills right here so don't forget that guys don't forget I don't want myself to forget because shit, I will forget. Um, yeah, my main menu, inventory, notices, pet bar. Um, pretty much this right here, this setup is good. It works well for all classes, jobs, what you name it. It works for everything. Okay. And when, before, and just so you guys know, um, I don't know what the key bindings are. But I will look it up. So when I edit this, it should pop up sometime before, sometime now. It should pop up doing the whole explanation of this, so you guys know how to resize these. Cause I have to resize them. I use my I use my right click on my PS4 controller to uh, resize them. But you can do it on keyboard and I don't know what it is for the Xbox, but I'm pretty sure it's left click. <gasps> Sorry, excuse me, right click as well. But before you do anything, before you exit out of this, save it then exit out so that way everything's here and before we go into something else make sure you go to character configuration go down to UI settings um, now you can disable these if you want I'm not going to for other purposes um, yeah here we go go down to where it says go to uh, character configuration go down to hot bar look like two little nipples right there plus signs um you pretty much you want to keep the spray cast time so you know when your stuff is hit this right here see all that see how knowing all this can be in the way if you just if you uh, hide on the side of sign uh, on the side of slots it's just gone all you see is the ones that you put stuff in makes it makes it look cleaner also I don't like this because as you can see stuff like that that right there is like hovering over that and it's really annoying so I just try to 
disable the hop off circulation so I don't actually cycle and then display take off the display number so like see now that doesn't get in the way and you want to keep that enabled and pet bar and thing enabled so that way you can sit here and just move stuff around if you want as you can see all all well 11 hot bars are you know now you can sit there and make sit there and change these any way you want you know it's up to you guys your prefer your uh, preference or not it's up to you now we're gonna apply and close now we're gonna go to uh system configuration and now we're gonna talk about um well we don't go here sorry whoops um oh, where is it uh no that's not hot, that's hot layout where the f is it anyway here's key bindings right here one thing you want to do to move left uh, turn left turn right remove those okay put your a and d on um put a on strife left and d on strife right so that way when you're uh moving like this um you'll be moving side to side which makes it easier in dungeons and stuff like that when you're trying to avoid aoe's and you got time to sit there and try to turn around and dot you know turn around and move out the way now you can move and turn around but your character will literally he won't strafe side to side he'll literally just turn around instead of moving out the way so it saves time saves you from getting hit stuff like that it's very helpful so remember do that don't have to but do that now hot bars is certain keys that I have for certain things I'm gonna let you guys look at that because hot bar 1 through 6 as you say is 1 2 3 4 5 6 but for hop on uh, slot 7 and 6 uh, 7 and 8 is number 6 and number 3 that means if your keyboard has a number pad on the right side of your keyboard that's that's number 6 that's num 6 um, so that's what those are if you wonder what those are that's the little right side of your keyboard that has like the uh has like the cap uh calculator form on that side now slot 9 art elf and then slot 10 elf reason why because it's right here you want this stuff right there like like i said this right here is helpful to me you guys can change this up any way you want to this is just my preference okay so we're going to hot bar 2 and from hot slot 1 the seven it's gonna be alt one all the way to alt seven and then remove anything from slot eight you don't have to but I did and then for nine and ten on our second hot bar is Q and E Q and E is gonna be your most used abilities mainly because E is my healing as you can see I can cast cure very very easily and fast stuff like that you know without having to sit there and um have it like clicked on right here is right here it's easy to use um so these two are mostly the most used abilities you're going to be using now i don't have that skill yet it's a macro which is why these anything with gears like this are macros now i'll talk to you guys later about that now there's nothing else here but for slide three, for one through five, it's shift. Hold shift and then one, then shift two, shift three, shift all the way to shift five. And that's pretty much all my shortcuts. Now I can make more, but I don't want to. So just saying, guys. And you can change all this other stuff up if you want. You know, it's not not what I would I would do, but yeah. Anyways, last thing I want to talk to you guys about is you can user macros. Now, this one, these two are for marking targets. Like, this is useful for tanks, DPS, stuff like that, but mostly for tanks. Pretty much, these two are pretty much the same thing. It's just this one. If there's more than three enemies, I have, you know, just keep adding 
uh, target four, attack five, and stuff like that, and then attack six, attack seven. How many enemies there are? That way you have it. But pretty much, this what this would do is that if you're fighting three or more enemies, about three or so enemies, it will target pretty much whoever you're target. It'll mark them as one, two, three. In a mark, you know, the targets will have marks above the head saying one, two, or three, and then the tank will focus. The tank and the DPS will focus on. Like the tank will try to aggro all of them. That's his job to keep them on him. But this will help new tanks, um, DPS, healers be able to be like, oh, okay, they're focusing on this guy. Then we're gonna focus on this guy. Then this guy. You know, it helps a lot. You know, if somebody's weak, you can cast this multiple times real quick. It doesn't, it, it's like, like that. You don't need to use these macros, but this macro right here is quick. There's no delay in it. Probably like a very slight delay, like a few seconds delay, but that's about it. Um, but it's, it's fairly to be fast. It's not slow. So, yeah, and this one is the same thing. I'll let you guys take that in for a moment. Here's the first one, one through um, one through three, and then tank marking one through five. But like I say, you, you can make it ten all the way to ten, a hundred if you wanted to. Just saying. Just make sure when you're done with these, make sure you put target open uh, open bracket. I, I think that's what that is. Attack one close bracket. That's pretty much what it is. This right here is just a simple emote saying, telling everybody, telling whoever your target is, hi, you know, that kind of thing. So just, hi, nice to meet you. Just simple. Now these are the uh, quick uh, micros that I use that are very useful. These are basic and extremely helpful macros, okay? This one's called Speed Res. Pretty much, it's used to uh, the ability once you get it. Swift Cast, it'll ca uh, it'll use Swift Cast. Then it'll wait like 0.5 seconds. Then it use the it'll, it'll use the move Res, and it will instantly Res whoever your target is, without you having to press click Swift Cast and then Res. Which you can do is the same amount of time. It's just your reaction time for doing that but I just do this because it's easier it's for me easier I don't have to worry about pressing something I can role play a little bit too so also this one's sleep you won't get this for a while but it pretty much I have it set up to where it says MK attack 3 it would mark the third person with a um with 3 saying I'm and then you know and then it'll AC for the casting when you actually cast the ability. And when I put slash P, it's pretty much slash P is for party. I'm telling my party, I put something simple like, I'm 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 sleeping number three, please don't attack it. Now people mail attack it anyway, just because people are just like that. So yeah, that's pretty simple, basic macro for putting stuff to sleep it helps when if your tank is being focused too much and you having trouble healing him and whatnot it, it helps to put something uh, a third enemy or fourth enemy asleep giving us time to take the other the other ones out and let the tank heal up so like that it takes a little bit of pressure off of them now this one is a very simple he, uh, call it tar heal target not you pretty much this will heal whoever you're targeting but it won't heal you so you don't accidentally heal yourself, it'll heal your teammate or whoever your target is. This one, we're gonna be using a lot once we get it because it's called Lucid Dreaming, AKA, oh, we're low on mana, we need, we, we need to rest. No, pop that and you basically will start gaining back mana faster and whatnot. I, don't ask me what parenthesis needed, so, I don't know why I put that, but pretty much same, you know, that right there is just a sound effect that pops, letting everybody know, say, hey, low on, low MP, my boys, you know, using, uh, it's not Shroud of Saints, I'll keep forgetting, I need to change that, that was completely my bad, I don't know why, 
I say Lou sit lose it dreaming okay all right you uh, use it's on cooldown so like everybody knows I just used it this right there is this one right here which means it heals everybody and they um it uses divine seal then swift cast and then medica too so in other words um it would cast an ability wait 0.5 seconds cast swift cast wait 0.5 seconds then cast medica too now if we use speed rest then we can't use this right away because we got to give us uh, swift cast time to cool down and be uh be able to be usable again now this right here is stone very simple macro I'm not sure I'm gonna use that because once we get to a certain level it'll up it'll change the mic uh, stone 2 and then we can't use stone 1 ever again I don't know why they changed it like that but it did so that's pretty much it um yeah that's it there's nothing else that I want to talk to you guys about so without further ado if you guys like what you saw, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Make sure you turn on the notifications. Forgot to tell you guys that. Make sure you set to all notifications so you guys will be keep being updated with the latest content on my channel, live streams, etc., etc. So without further ado, I see you guys later. I know I said that before. And also, don't forget, bye-bye.